Hey everyone, it's Elsie here and I have a Citrus Twist layout for you today. Um, this layout I shared on Citrus Twist blog back in January. Um, I'll have a link to it down below. I'm seriously just catching up on so many videos at the moment. <laughs> um, but yes, I was inspired by the, I think it's called Jameson January's kit. Um, there was some Fancy Pants Joy Parade collection in there and they have this really cute little like puffy Vespa sticker and I really love that so I thought well I'm gonna pay a piece of Vespa aren't I so um, I flashed up the silhouette code that I use the cut file code and I don't obviously have a cut file but what I did was just printed out the cut file and just use that um, so yeah well worth 60p in my opinion <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just doing my usual thing. I printed it out and then I traced um, the image onto some tracing paper and yeah, now I'm just getting all the little bits and pieces that I need and cutting them out to piece it all together. Um, I'm using that yellow dotty paper, um, which I think it might be a fancy pants paper, I could be wrong, but oh, I love it. Just such a nice colour, because um, it's not, it's like a very mustard yellow, but like a very non-mustardy yellow. <laughs> so it's like, not gross. <laughs> it's nice. Like it's the kind of mustard you really like, a really nice mustard leather handbag in. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and it's got big white polka dots on it and I love it um, and I just thought yeah it looked really nice with the little yeah on a Vespa um, yeah because it's kind of like a solid colour with a bit of detail on it because um, I did I was gonna there was an exclusive paper in the kit that's yellow and it has stars all over it and I love it but um, it was just too busy so I went with this and then I'm accenting it with some with some A paper, <laughs> with a paper from um, Pink Paisley Birthday Bash, and I don't know what the paper's called, but it's great. It has a really lovely like candy stripe, I guess, and they're kind of distressed looking. And yeah, it just didn't look right with just white. Um, so like you know on the seat and the footrest, I guess. Um, so yeah, that was a good find. It might be actually. I don't know. I can't remember what papers it was. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, I'll leave it in the description, like what papers they were, because I can't remember. Um, yeah, and I cut all the branding strips, so I can't look. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just doing all the little details, and then I will be stitching, because you know me, and you know I can't stay away from my stitching, um, and yeah I spent ages deciding what to do with like the wheels and the hub caps is that what they're called on top of the wheel the little archy things those um <laughs> oh dear I don't really know anything about cars I just know that they look cute um well not most of them I don't really like a lot of cars I like a few like I really love like old school cars and I love Vespers I've always really wanted a Vespa, which is what this layout is about, actually. <laughs> um, so I obviously don't have a picture of me on a Vespa or anything because I don't own one, but um, yeah. Anyway, I journaled about me always wanting a Vespa. Um, so yeah, why not? Because like, the thing is with um, scrapbook layouts, I feel like I always I should feel like I have to have like a specific story that I want to tell like a specific like moment and I don't usually have those I just like to kind of journal about I don't know whatever you know it doesn't have to be like a specific story it could be like me documenting feelings I'm a very feeling person <laughs> so yeah um I'm talking about how I've always wanted a Vespa it's probably never gonna happen but a girl can dream <laughs> and I'd want this Vespa I've just designed my perfect Vespa, I'd want a mustardy polka dot Vespa. Um, anyway, <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, there were parts of this that were really sort of delicate and 
small like these little mirrors in the handlebars um, and what I do to combat that as you can see I'm piece, bleh, piecing everything together on a white piece of paper and that just kind of um, gives it some extra strength and also um, makes it like easier when I'm stitching um, if you don't want to do the stitching and you want to like do something like this um, you don't have to stitch you could outline it with a pen or a pencil or just leave it because you I mean you could, even without the stitching you can tell it's like a Vespa um, I think I hope <laughs> um, but yeah I just love stitching things and it doesn't actually take too long in terms of like all the stitching that I do um, something kind of small like this really doesn't take long at all um, and I kind of enjoy it because <laughs> uh, I'm cool um, so yeah what am I doing what is my cat doing oh it's just so naughty anyway um, yeah so I've gone and stitched and I'm kind of completely obsessed with the way that looked um, so I kind of I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do um, for the rest of the layout like always <laughs> Um, I knew I wanted a Vespa so I have this stencil from the crafters workshop and I think it's called like urban landscape or something um, and it's my absolute favorite thing in the world it's just so cool so I decided instead of doing like my usual modeling paste thing I'd get some cracked pistachio distress ink um, and sort of put it through like because it's got um a sort of more detailed skyline and then like a solid skyline so I thought I'd put that through the solid solid skyline to give the whole thing a bit of perspective um and I do like the way that looks I hadn't really done that before um and I found that like sort of wetting the distress ink um well not actually wetting the ink pad like putting it on um some a piece of plastic and then spritzing a bit of water on it and using a sponge that way was like a be blended better um I don't have a blending tool I just have like cheap makeup sponges <laughs> and it worked fine um I don't think you could tell the difference um and in the end I actually added I went back in and kind of flipped the stencil over and added some modeling paste um and yeah that just kind of gave it a bit more depth and scale I guess um, and I really love the way that looks it really sets a scene you know me I love my scenes <laughs> um, so yeah the clouds um, are already stitched because I don't know whether I actually use those clouds I don't think I do anyway they're already stitched and I don't show you that on camera because I literally I'm really sad and I know I love clouds on my layouts so I usually make more than I need um, so I always have like leftover clouds I'm so sad um, just because then it saves time as a handy tip for you even though I don't use them but uh, anyway they were fine on in the interim <laughs> until I replaced them um, so yeah the Vespa kind of looked like it was going down a hill it was kind of on um, a slope I guess it kind of looked like it was on a slope um, on the silhouette in the silhouette design store so I kind of thought okay well I'll make a little slope um, just out some white piece of paper and stitch sort of along the border of that just to I don't know just fi I find it looks nice gives it a bit of um, detail I guess um, and then I scalloped a piece of paper from Fancy Free, it's a cross stitch one um, and I just used the like mint side because um, I really love a mint and yellow combination, it's really yummy. Um, so yeah, I the stamps in this month's kit as well are amazing because they have like, they, they always have um, Blah, let's rewind that <laughs> I love the stamps in the citrus twist kits because they always have um, sort of like images in them like all like little um, shapes and that and I find that was really useful for like backgrounds and just adding extra little details so I knew I wanted the balloons kind of hanging off the motorbike Vespa 
thing um and i don't know they just kind of looked a bit odd floating there um until i added obviously the st strings in inverted things um with i machine stitched actually um because it's a bit more subtle um but yeah back to the stamp sets um so i want to add in some extra little details to like ground the balloons into the space um and so i grabbed some like pastel colored inks and kind of dotted like the circles and the like little asterisks um around the balloons and yeah it just kind of grounds them i guess and just adds some extra little details which i really like so i have changed my clouds <laughs> for smaller clouds um and i just hand cut these out um, they're just very basic cloud shape and I stuck them up on some foam because foam just makes everything look a bit more dimensional and that was my crazy bun hair <laughs> um, yeah so I'm just playing around with everything thinking what my title was going to be because I never think of a title um, and I absolutely love those scripty words from Fancy Pants again in the um, I think no those are in the main kit and then the like symbol ones were in the add-on whatever add-on we got embellishment I assume anyway um yeah so what am I doing oh I'm adding more stamps I thought I already did that anyway um also one thing I loved about this kit and I think it's still available in the shop um so definitely go and have a look at it because um yeah i love the exclusive ephemera in the kit it just had some really lovely pieces in it and i really love the design and the colors um so yeah i grabbed the stars the stars are from that kit and i love stars and they're kind of like wonky stars which i love even more so i was a happy happy bunny um and yeah I'm just playing around with everything, trying to figure out where everything goes. So my photo really has nothing to do with me on a Vespa, or me and Vespas. Um, but it's a photo of me, <laughs> duh, um, from like forever ago. And I really like it because it's kind of summery and just feels easy breezy. Um, <clears throat> God, I sound like an idiot. Anyway, um, but it's a weird photo because it's like on like it's sideways because that's cool so you take photos of yourself when you're like sideways to let everyone know that you're really hip and happening <laughs> as you can tell i've never been hip and happening <laughs> oh dear um but yeah so i laid it onto like the slope so it like matched the is it gradient i don't know the technical term for that the gradient of the slope i think that's the right term Hmm. any any geography geologists people with more brain power than me <laughs> know what that means anyway i don't um so yeah so it kind of worked the photo worked into you know like with the design like it followed the horizon line sort of if you get me um yeah so i was pleased to sort of get that photo down and i always feel really weird about photos of myself but I don't have kids I have a cat and there's me um so yeah you get photos of me I'm sorry about that <laughs> yeah and I'm just gluing everything down that's pretty much it I added some more sequins off camera did my usual thing and added those little flowers in um so yeah that's it thank you for watching and I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video oh and make sure you check out citrus twists because this month's kit is so nice, as was this last month's kit. So, yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.